Washington, as millions of Americans raced to finish filing their tax returns on Monday, the Biden administration made another plea for Congress to give the Internal Revenue Service more money. The latest call for funding to modernize the agency and beef up its enforcement staff followed I. R. S. and Treasury Department officials' complaints that they are facing an extraordinarily challenging tax season because of staff shortages and the complexity associated with distributing pandemic relief. The Biden administration's proposals to provide the I with $80 billion over a decade have thus far fallen flat in Congress. The I knew walking into this filing season that it did not have the workforce or technology in place to serve the American people the way they deserve, to pick up the fawn. Ms. Sarin said the I had collected more than 130 million tax returns from individuals and businesses this year and had dispersed more than $220 billion in refunds. The average refund, as of the week of April 8, was $3.175. Taxpayers who received a portion of the child tax credit in advance last year could receive smaller refunds than they expected. The agency started this tax season buried in a backlog of more than 20 million tax returns from previous years, leaving many taxpayers frustrated about delayed refunds. The I has been holding job fairs with the aim of hiring 10 new employees to clear the backlog by the end of the year. Despite the Biden administration's continuing push for more money for the agency, it was not clear if that proposal would make it into any legislation that Democrats could pass. Republicans have staunchly opposed providing the I with more funding. Ms. remained bogged down by antiquated technology and thin resources. She said a lack of funding was fueling a $600 billion annual tax gap of revenue that is going uncollected and leaving the entire tax system in a state of distress. It is a tax system where ripped paper returns are literally pieced together with scotch tape, Ms. Sarin wrote. Ultimately, it is the eye that is stuck with short-term selves for much deeper trauma. 